Hello everyone, I am Ezekiel Bruni. I am a writer, web designer, and full-time nerd over at website planet today i'm here to talk to you about aweber an email marketing platform that's all about letting you run your business and leave the email marketing to them that's their slogan it's pretty good it's pretty decent i'd say uh, it's um aweber's been around a long time it's actually got its start right before the old y2k scare and it still offers that classic email marketing it's known for, but also uh, landing pages, client account management, and compatibility with Google's AMP for email, which eh, may or may not be good depending on how you feel about Google AMP. Anyway, this video review is based on my own experiences. I ran some tests, went in as an undercover client, and you know, sent out some test emails. So I'm going to show you the main features and uh, you know, tell you what I like, what I don't like, all that sort of thing. Uh, there is a full written review on Website Planet. Link in the description. It's got a lot more detail than this uh, video review will. So be sure to check that out. Okay? Okay, let's get started. Now, the interface looks a little dated. I'm not going to lie. But it's still simple enough to use. So, you know, I, I don't mind something looking a bit dated if it still works. There, uh, You can create campaigns in several interesting ways. You can... Um, raw edit raw HTML. Uh, you can literally code your own emails. Always fun. Plain text emails. That's where you don't worry so much about the template and just write. The drag and drop email builder. The classic drag drop, which is what I'm going to show you. But there's also a really cool uh, tool called the Smart Designer. It will literally design a template for you based on the colors and images found on your website. So you just put in your website URL and it'll generate one of several templates for you to use. But let's just start with the drag and drop builder. Let's check the templates first. Now there are a lot of different templates. Uh, some of them look a bit dated, some of them look quite nice. It's, you're going, your mileage may vary. I mean, like I said, Aweber has been around a long time in internet years. So some of these are going to look good, but some of these are just going to look old. All that said it's not you know not bad now you, you pick a template and it doesn't look like much because you don't get like a full design you still have to add things yourself that you like there's not a lot of uh, I mean there are there are stock images you can choose from a library which is very handy I like that I like it mm. but you know uh, you're going to have to start almost for scratch from scratch one way or another Thankfully, it's all pretty simple stuff. Just drag and drop things around. There, You don't get a lot of layout options. Basically, your emails are going to go from top to bottom. There don't seem to be a lot of, like, columns. At least when you add the content, the styles always match the template, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can add some cool things, like an RSS feed. You can add... I'm not sure what this is, actually. A row? Oh, yeah, this is where you add another section down below. You can add a carousel, you know, a, a slideshow of images. I'm not going to get into how to build all of these things. So, you know, you, you have options. The, while the design isn't very flexible, it is very simple. So if you're wor more worried about having a, like, a streamlined, simple process, say, creating the fanciest looking emails, Ava Weber's drag and drop builder does fine. And if you want to go fancy, you can go with the HTML builder, you know, just uh, straight up um, design your own from scratch. So, you know, cool stuff. Then you send it off and but to your subscribers, to your contacts, and let's see how Aweber manages contacts. Honestly, not bad. These are the test emails I used. You can add uh, contacts and add subscribers very easily. You can add them one at a time or import multiple. And importing, you can either just uh, co uh, copy and paste your emails right here. Or you can upload them from so one of two different uh, Excel formats, CSV or text. But once you have subscribers, how do you manage them? What do you do with them? Well, you can actually further narrow down your lists of subscribers with segmentation. Segmentation is handled for, by the search function. There isn't like a separate screen for it. 
but you can create dynamic lists of contacts that meet certain criteria. For example, um, you know, if they if they were added, and this will show should show me all of my subscribers because I added them some time ago when I wrote the initial review. But the, you can add more criteria, and so you can say they're, if they're from a specific country or region or city, postal code, if, they're, if they've opened any click, if they've clicked on anything in your emails, clicked on anything since, any clicks since, we'll say, August 2020, search, and that should narrow the list down. See, these are the test accounts where I clicked a link in the email. And then you can save the search as a segment. And of course, to actually use segments, you do have to upgrade from the free plan to the pro plan. So that's, you know, that's something to keep in mind. The free plan is great for evaluating this service, but we'll get into that later. Next up, we're going to look at automation. Now, automation is something that allows you to send out like uh, emails when specific things happen, like a welcome email when they somebody signs up for your e uh, newsletter or an abandoned cart email if someone hasn't uh, put something in their cart on your store but they haven't bought anything yet. In Aweber, automation is called campaigns. You can create a blank one, import one from elsewhere, or you can just pick one of these templates. And the actual steps are shown over here. The trigger for the campaign is, uh, you know, it, 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 like someone subscribes and it sends a message, thanks for subscribing. And then it waits a day and says, here, uh, the, here's some new content that I shared, so on and so forth. And you can edit the campaign or here and add steps or remove steps. It's a rather simplistic way of doing automation, but it works just fine. It, uh, but it doesn't lend itself well to the super complex automations you'd get elsewhere, like in GetResponse. That said, it's there, it works, it's good. Next up, let's have a quick look at the reports you get. You can actually get a fair number of fairly deep, detailed reports. Now, there's not a lot of data here, so you're not going to see much beyond a couple of bars on the graph. But you can see trends for email opens over time, clicks over time. You can see monthly subscriber growth, weekly subscriber growth, daily subscriber growth, ad tracking, and just you can track the data for just about everything your customers do that relates to you and your email marketing. You know, cool stuff. Last up, Aweber has like a ton of integrations. You can uh, integrate it with things like GoToWebinar, WordPress, PayPal, Elementor, the plugin. You know, you can uh, integrate it with AppDrag and Blogger and Ghost and of course a lot of e-commerce ones, WooCommerce, Etsy. Uh, Thrive Cart. I've never even heard of that one before. But you you can integrate your email system with so many other things. You can integrate it with Facebook lead ads and your Facebook page, all that good stuff. So you know you're not you can easily sl uh, slip Aweber into your tool chain. Now, honestly, this is not a complete list of features. You again check the dis link in the description. Read the whole thing. It is. You know that there's a lot of information to go through, but like, let's just um, quickly talk about thing, uh, a couple of things that you might find necessary to know. For the most part, your emails will go through. Uh, we can't tell you ex like uh, Aweber has a 65% deliverability rate. That doesn't work like that, but Aweber does have certain features that do make it more likely for emails to go through. Let's just keep it simple. Uh, Aweber has DKIM authentication which is basically encryption that makes sure e your uh, email providers know that the emails are coming from you. Aweber has a very strong anti-spam uh, policy, which you absolutely need. Aweber does allow affiliate marketing, which can be a cause for concern because affiliate marketers are known for spamming. However, um, you have to follow some very specific guidelines or your a Aweber account will be terminated if you're going to do affiliate uh, marketing. Unfortunately, Aweber does not offer dedicated IP addresses at all. So if somebody does use a manage to use Aweber to get spam through, your account will be affected. Your, your emails will be affected. Let's talk about support now. Aweber support is generally fast and helpful. I wouldn't recommend the phone, though. I had problems reaching them via phone. But the email and live chat options were fast, and the agents were very helpful. And uh, on to the pricing. Well... I think Aweber's pricing is pretty good. I think it's reasonable. It's the pricing plan certainly won't break the bank, especially if you know you're, you're 
the, like if you're making actually making some cash off your marketing, the prices are perfectly reasonable. I can't say specifics here because uh, prices are subject to subject sorry to change. But again, in the full written review, we've got constantly updated prices. We keep that updated. So, you know, have a look there. Uh, the refund policy is a bit complex, though. Uh, there is no specific refund policy. You can request refunds on a case-by-case -case basis. It's, I don't really like that. All in all, AWeber is not, like, the best marketing platform. It's one of my favorites in that some... Um, the, the overall experience is rather tight and efficient. It works well enough for the most part. And there is that nice little free plan where it's free for up to 500 contacts and you can just send as much email as you want. It's great for starting out. But, you know, it's uh, you can get some slightly better features. You can get more uh, advanced automation with Send in Blue. You can get well, some more features with uh, Get Response. And anyway, that's about all I have for now. Um, I've been Ezekiel Bruni. I'm signing out. I hope you found this video educational, helpful, and perhaps even fun. See you all around.